So we're going to drill this out and put in a very small cross hole halfway through. And we'll put a zerk fitting on this. This is the pivot pin, one end of it obviously, for the uh, step. The idea is, although I'm going back to the standard bearings, that way I can shove some grease in them and help keep them cleaner over periods of time. So shall we begin? We're going in about a half an inch. And then the next step, of course, will be to uh, tap this. So hang on, hang on while I switch over to that setup. Okay, now we're all set to do our tapping. Got a tap follower in here, spring loaded, and away we go. Oops. It might help to put some tapping fluid on. Tappity tap. These taps, Chinese, are not the best. Anyway, once I get this all tapped, I'll bring you back and show you the installation of the Zerk fitting. So I'll be back in just a few. Anyway, by the way, boys and girls, observe the perfectly safe setup. We have the chuck key in the chuck. Uh, we're ready to fire over on the switch. You can't see it there. But the safety cover back here is off, and there's a disconnect switch in that. Anyway, the one thing I wanted to show you here is, if you can listen very closely, as I turn this backwards, you should hear a click. Did you hear that click? That's the tap dropping from one thread down to the bottom. If you do that with a screw, a tap, or anything else, turn it backwards until you feel or hear a click. Then you know as you start back in, you will not be cross-threaded. Anyway, just a small little point. And this is the end result. When all is said and done, there can be only one. You end up with a Zerk fitting right there. I'll do this on both ends of the shaft. Now, as I press these in, I will not have the Zerks in place. I'll make sure everything's settled in. I don't want to press, obviously, put a ton of pressure against, literally a ton of pressure against the Zerk. So, anyway, but that's what we're going to be doing. This allows us to add grease to this over the years and help keep the crud out of those very, very tender little plastic inserts on those bearings. Yeah, I know the final correct way to do it is to bore out the, the uh, brackets a little bit oversized and put in bronze bushings, but this week I'm lazy.